BIOS.IN Hello friends, a warm welcome to all cyber security enthusiasts. In this video, we will be learning about the basic data structures and also how to implement them in C language. So let's begin. So let's first understand what do we mean by data structures. Data structures are used to organize data in memory. This is done so as to reduce complexity in handling the data. Stack and queue are the most commonly used data structures mainly to hold interconnected data. Let's see what is a linked list. Linked list is a data structure where different nodes are linked together with the help of pointers so as to form a list or a chain. The second part of each node here holds the address of the next node. Here is an illustration of the same. Why do we need a linked list? Let's first understand what's the difference between an array and a linked list. So here we have an array and a linked list both of size initially 2. When we add a third element to an array, this results in a condition called stack overflow, meaning the array doesn't have enough size to hold the new element. Whereas when we add it to a linked list, a new node is created. This node is linked with the previous one. So we see Linked lists are dynamic in nature and thus more flexible to use. Now we will learn about stack and later its implementation in C using linked list. What is a stack? A stack is a data structure where data can be accessed in a last in first out order. The end of the stack is called top and all the operations are performed at the top of the stack. Let's understand the working of the stack using this illustration here. Adding elements to the stack is called push operation. Notice how the position of the pointer top changes with the addition of each new element. At the end, top points to the last element added to the stack. Removing elements from the top of the stack is called pop operation. The elements are removed from the stack in the reverse order in which they were added following the LIFO order. Notice how the position of top pointer changes with the removal of the each element. Now we will see how to implement stack using linked list in C language. First, let's see how to create a node. We declare a structure node which has two elements. One is the integer value which it will hold and the other is the pointer which will be used to point to the next node. Here is how node top will be on creation. Now we will see how to push nodes onto the stack. New, to, new node to be added is called TMP and value is assigned as the argument INP. It is made to point to the previous node. Then this node is made the top node. Remember, the first node always points to null. Now we will see how to pop nodes from the stack. The node to be removed is called TMP and the top pointer is made to point to the next node and then memory assigned to TMP is deallocated. This is done until the last node is removed after which top points to null. Now we will see what is a queue and how it is implemented in C. Well, what is a queue? Q is a data structure which follows the first in, first out order. A Q has two parts, the front and the Q. Well, as the name sounds, the front is where the elements are removed from the Q, whereas N is where the elements are added to the Q. Let's understand the working of a Q using an illustration here. Adding the elements to a Q is called NQ operation. Notice how the pointer end changes with the addition of each new element. Front always points to the first element, whereas end will point to the last element in the queue when all the elements have been added. Deleting elements from the queue is called DQ operation. The deletion starts from the front of the queue. This means the elements are removed in the same order as they were added following the FIFO order. Notice how the point of front changes with the removal of each element. Now we will see the implementation of Q using linked list in C language. 
First we will see the creation of a node. Similar to the stack, we create a structure which has two elements. One is the integer value which it will hold and the other is the pointer which will be used to point to the next node. Here is how both front and end pointers will be on creation. These both pointers will be used to point to the front and the end of the queue respectively. Let's see how the elements will be added to the queue. Upon each call to this function nq, a new node TMP is created which holds to the value to be stored passed as INP and is made to point to null. If it is the first node then both the end and the front pointer will point to this node. As more nodes are added, TMP node is assigned as null. Notice that the last element will point to null. This is unlike the case of stack where the first one points to null. Let's see how to delete elements from the queue. Upon each call to this function dq, the current front node is assigned as TMP and is made to point to the next node. Then the memory allocated to TMP is deallocated. This continues until there is no element left to delete from the queue as front will then point to null. So what have we learned so far? We saw in this video what are data structures and we learned about one of them called linked list. We learned why are these referred over an array. Then we learned about stacking queue which are again data structures. Then we learned how to implement them with the help of linked list in C language. So here we come to the end of this tutorial video. We hope that this video helped you. If you face any difficulties anywhere, feel free to contact us. Happy learning. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like and comment if you have any suggestions. Subscribe to the channel for more exciting content. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook.